Please gotta get it together, but you can't give it. Uh, I won't let them take over. Is anybody there? Can you hear me? I've got survivors here. We've locked ourselves in the machine room. Please! Help us! Panchea's Hiron project, Mr. Jensen. The most advanced quantum computer slave to the human brain, and the closest to perfection we'll ever achieve. I'm going to use it to hack Daryl's signal and rework the message to our benefit. Our benefit? You mean the Illuminati's? Ah! Someone has to override the signal and be the world's savior. And let's be honest. Neither of us would trust anyone else to fill that role. Computer, begin EEG sync. So much pain. Sinking beta waves at 40 cycles per second. Sleep like a baby. Sleep like a baby. Sleep like a baby. Sleep like a baby. Incompatible master slave changing to the brain. Alert. Unable to transfer control to the alpha pod. Uh, the system will recognize my chip. Neural systems offline. Rerouting control of the EEG. I can't control Iron. Increasing glutenate is 132%. Sal, get them out of there. I have to reach the control chamber. No! I can feel control! I can control! Stop the signal! Security alert. Through the primary control panel. Oh, shit. Alpha pod security in place. To access Alpha pod, purge tertiary pods. I must be the one to alter the signal. Once I do, the Council will welcome me with open arms. No! Protect Mother! Stay away! Stay away! Bad man is here. Why does he want to kill us? Kill him. Ah. Manual override of tertiary pond's condition. Total system purge in Shutting down tertiary stations. Warning. Electrical charge subcritical and rising. Electric discharge sequence in the shadows. Where did you get that girl? From that fool, Daryl. This will not stop you, Jim.
Adam. Welcome to the Edge. It is not the end of the world, but you can see it from here. Eliza? What are you doing here? It is my job to monitor and report on the news, Adam. Before Darrow smothered everything with his signal, the whole world was tuned into this place, including me. The broadcast. I have to stop it. I know. Please, come closer. Do you know where we are, Adam? We are at the fulcrum point, when society lies in the balance. Hugh Darrow hoped to tip the scales one way, by telling the world everything you already know. About the biochip, the Illuminati, everything. He believed knowing the truth would convince mankind to abandon research into human enhancement technologies forever. It would certainly give them reason to fear it. Indeed. Daryl's confession is ready to send. If you want, I can wideband it across all media as soon as you shut down the signal. Everything you worked so hard to uncover will be exposed. But only if you deactivate the broadcast using this control. Of course, there is another option. This passage leads to Panchea's pressure regulation controls. Destroy them and the installation will cave in on itself, overwhelmed by the weight of the ocean pressing against it. Everyone inside the structure will die. That's a solution? No one will be left to tell the world what happened, Adam. Nobody will be able to spin the story. Including me. The choice is yours. Do you believe you have the wisdom to choose an appropriate future for mankind? Or do you trust mankind to find the answers on its own? Albert Einstein said, technological progress is like an axe in the hands of a pathological criminal. Took me a while, but I finally see his point. How often have we chased the dream of progress only to see it perverted? More often than not, haven't the machines we built to improve life shattered the lives of millions? And now we want to turn that dream on ourselves to fundamentally improve who we are. Experience has shown me how dangerous that can be. When faced with difficult choices, sometimes I consider human lives and suffering. But other times, my own interests were paramount. Did I always do the right thing? Or did the presence of an easy answer lead me astray? Technologies are invented to make our lives easier, not our choices. The problem comes when we forget that. Darrow understood this. He knew that using technology to become something more than we are risks losing our ability to love, aspire, or make moral choices. The very things that make us human. It also risks giving some men the power to make others what they choose, regardless of the cost to human dignity. The suffering Darrow inflicted is not the end of the world. It is merely the seed for change. And change never comes without pain.
Ariadne told Theseus before he entered the Minotaur's labyrinth, always forward, never left or right. You'll be very interested in our current project. We're breaking new ground. Yes, the nanite virus chimera is quite intriguing. I'm looking forward to seeing the hybrid project up close, Mr. Page. And so you shall. But please, call me Bob.
You worry too much, Morgan. There's nothing we can't manage given time. She's here. I have to cut this short. Keep going through the wreckage. Maybe we'll find something we can use for the Morpheus Initiative. Come in. Dr. Reed. We're so pleased you decided to join us. Where else could I go? No regrets, my dear. As Ariadne told Theseus before he entered the Minotaur's labyrinth, always forward, never left or right. You'll be very interested in our current project. We're breaking new ground. Yes, the nanite virus chimera is quite intriguing. I'm looking forward to seeing the hybrid project up close, Mr. Page. And so you shall. But please, call me Bob.